This video has been brought to you by OCZ. Special thanks to them for sending over a pair of their Vector 180 series drives. Check out the description below to learn more. How's it going guys? Matt and Jackson here with the Toasty Bros and today we're going to be upgrading the Toasty server with some sweet OCZ drives that got sent to us and we're going to put them in a raid array and see how much of a difference it makes. Roll that intro. Okay guys, so before we go and put these OCZ SSDs in, we're going to see what our current hard drive speeds are. So right now we are currently running on an actual SSD, and basically what we're going to do is just transfer a file from the SSD over to our, uh, basically our hard drive array, which is just laptop drives. They are 7200 drives with the exception of, I believe, one 5400 RPM drive, so let's see how long that takes. All right guys, so we're going to transfer the server folder, which is a couple of gigs, into our storage drives, which is the RAID array. So it's a total of 2.13 gigs. We're just gonna see how fast we can transfer the file from SSD to hard drive. So three, two, one. Boom. I'll show you guys more details. So we're doing, let's see, 53 megabytes per second, 48, 46. So it's, I'm, I'm gonna say it's an average of about 50 megabytes per second. So it says it's going to take about 45 seconds for the drive. For which I'm actually kind of surprised. It's not as which, slow as I thought it would be. Yeah, which is pretty fast because... These yeah. are laptop drives. <laughs> yeah, for laptop drives, it's pretty fast. But then again, though, it is an all solid state drive that's writing to yes. hard drives. So I guess that would technically make it faster if it was just hard drive to hard drive. And stop. So it looks like we're at 38 seconds for the transfer. So we had 38 seconds to transfer from the SSD to the hard drive. So now we're going to do it the opposite direction to see if that makes a difference. Matt, you want to go ahead and get ready with that start button. And I'm just going to basically copy this back over. So three, two, one. Looks like it might just be a little bit faster. Wow, 342 megabytes per second. So it's a <laughs> lot a bit faster. So it looks oh. like the forgot about the time. So it was, it was about eight seconds, we'll say. So it looks like the key factor here is basically transferring to storage. So that should be what we're looking for to improve, is when we add the SSDs instead of the hard drive. So we'll have really fast storage to transfer to. So let's go ahead and add those SSDs in. All right, guys, so we installed all the SSDs. We set it up in a RAID array. So our total array is 447 gigabytes, which is pretty decent for two SSDs in a stri uh, spanned RAID array, which is what they call it in the Windows Disk Management. It's basically RAID 0. It's basically RAID 0. So we are going to do the same two tests, which we really think the biggest difference is going to be the first test where we transfer the file from the desktop to the RAID array. So if you want to open up the RAID array folder and then drag it in there, we will see the new time after I hit the... Right, three, two, one. Oh, wow, look at it go. Oh, wow. Look at it go. Oh, I gotta be hungry ready for this one. Yeah. It's going, at, it almost, it hit like a gig a minute for a second. Ready, here we go. <laughs> Boom. Oh, look. He missed it. All right, so it's like 15, 14 seconds transferring over, which is a big difference between 38 seconds when yeah. it was before, so. Let's try to do it back the other way now. Yeah, see if so that makes a difference. let me reset the time and see if that changes anything before at all. Before we had about seven to eight seconds, yeah, so, so let's try that. Here we go. Delete this one real quick. Yeah. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> so it's going to be like the exact same time. Oh, oh, maybe longer. So we might have just learned yeah, Okay, so it actually, for some reason, it took longer so to it's go hot. from... Yeah, well, because our our uh, silicon power drive is actually slower than these OCZ SSDs, so I assume... It was that, relying on the silicon yeah. power one. So that's a pretty interesting test, but still, 16 seconds for that transfer, like, that was pretty nice. And, and the, the file is, like, 2.3 gigs. So that's, yeah, so, I, I'm pretty impressed. It's faster than anything I've ever done. So. so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, um, thanks again to OCZ a ton for sending over these SSDs. Um, we're going to be doing another video in the future with these SSDs to get the most out of them. We're going to be doing a little bit of an upgrade type scenario, but 
Uh, be sure to check that one out. And this has been an awesome quick video with a toaster oven. Maybe we'll do some more stuff with it now because we right. have stuff in it. But um, thanks you guys again for <laughs> <laughs> thanks you guys again for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment below, uh, check out all our social media, subscribe, check out all our content, and I'll check out OCZ too. Don't forget yes, that. Yes, check out OCZ. They're awesome for sending this over for us. So peace out, guys. <laughs>